If you're using number columns in SharePoint to represent a percentage, this free JSON formatter will really, really make it shine. You've got to check it out. There's, there's even three different versions of this thing, depending on how you want it to look. But they're all really customizable and they're really easy to add to your columns. So let's get into it. SharePoint columns can be kind of boring, right? That's why I love all these JSON formatters that were created by the community. They're all free to use. You can customize them to your heart's content, but not everybody really understands how this stuff works, which is why I ended up creating an online course for it. But let's get into a list and start setting these formatters up so you can see how these things work. So I'm on a content scheduler list right now, and I'm gonna add in a new number column to represent the percentage completion that this content is, is currently in. So to add a new column, I can click on the add column button over here, or if you hover in between two of the different headers, anywhere you'll see a plus button. That'll let me add a column right in that spot. So I'm gonna add in a number column, click next. We can call this percent complete. I'll leave the space out for now and I'll add it back later. That'll keep the internal name clean on the back end, but the display name will still look good because it'll still have this space. We have to do that at this point, make sure the space is out beforehand. This is going to be formatted as a percentage and we'll just click save. Then I'll go back into edit and I'll add that space in. So now we just need some data in here. So I'll go into grid view and I'll start typing in, maybe this is at 20%. This could be at 75. Maybe this one's at 33%. And this is 100%. So we've got data in here. I'm going to exit grid view. Now we need to apply the formatter for this thing. So we're going to get this from this sample. You'll see a uh, on the details page, you'll see what this thing's going to look like at different percentages and all three different variants of this as well. You'll see the view requirements. It, it can be applied to a number column. Now, this part, I think we could ignore because it, we actually do need to type in a number column. It could just be something that um, SharePoint, Microsoft did with the SharePoint column data uh, recently with some updates they've done. Uh, Tetsuya Kawahara is a Microsoft MVP. He's the one who created this and many, many of the other samples created. The first thing we're gonna be doing is we'll just, we'll, I'm gonna cover all three of these, but we're gonna click this button. And we'll over here on the right, you'll see an option to copy the raw file. That's what we want to do to copy all of this formatting. Then we go back to SharePoint. We click the down arrow next to the column header. We go to column settings and format this column. Now you have some options here to configure data bars or conditional formatting. This is the easier uh, type of formatting to do, but you don't get all the bells and whistles that we get from custom formatting. So for now, we're gonna go to advanced mode. We'll, we'll delete everything out of here and we'll paste in our formatter. So now we will uh, we'll see the formatter over here. We can close that window and we can give it a refresh just to make sure everything's all updated. And we'll see this, this circular type of uh, a percent indicator along with the value and even an icon at the top just to show you what this looks like. Now, and now another thing to point out is that this is using a the, the site's theme. So this is part of a hub site. This is an as, a, associated site. So this is picking up the theming from my hub site so I can't change it on here, but whatever your site colors are, you would see that reflected here. Notice that the gray is matching the header area as well. So this one is all done. It looks fantastic. It certainly looks a lot better than just the straight numbers in the percent uh, value. And at a glance, you can quickly see the status of, uh, of all of these different content uh, pieces of content without having to actually read those numbers. So it's a good at a glance thing. We've got two other formatters to go through though. So let's do that. And this is gonna be the percent only option. So we do copy raw file and we go back into column settings, format this column. Since we have, it, since we have our custom JSON code in here, it'll take us straight into the advanced mode. We'll select all of this and then replace it with what's in our clipboard now. 
and now we just see the percentage. So if you don't wanna see an icon up there and in, in the, inside the circle, you just want the value, then this looks great, don't you think? Now let's see what it looks like if you've just got an icon and you don't have that. This one's got a little bit of extra magic in there. I think you're going to like. So for that one, we're gonna do, we go back to the number donut chart and then we go to the icon only link. And again, I'll, I'll walk you through how this stuff works as well because it's all fairly simple. We'll click copy. And since we've already got the formatting pane up here, we can just delete here and then paste that in. Now we've got the just the visual indicators only of the percent complete and the icon in the middle. Now the icon can be changed. I'll show you how to do that. But the other thing that this has is it's got a, a pop out here to show you. So if you want to know exact, if you're looking at the new hires this month and you want to know what is that value, or you could just hover over it and it'll tell you that this one's at 33%, this one's at 75%. So you still have the option of seeing what the actual number is, but it's not taking up so much room to give you the ability to just make this look cooler, make this look more visual, richer. Uh, and, and that's just some of the, the great things that you can do with JSON formatting. So we've got all of this done here. We can close this up. We've got three different amazing options to level up your percentages in SharePoint lists. Let's see how this actually all works in the background though. So we'll jump back into the JSON. We'll go to the solution. We'll start with the percentage only one. This is the most basic one. So looking at this JSON, it is a column formatter. We can tell that with the schema, the schema um, statement there showing that it's the, a column formatting schema. The schema is just the rules that the formatters kind of have to follow. It just, it tells, um, it tells the JSON reader inside SharePoint what to expect inside this document. We're gonna create an HTML div. You'll see that on line three. We'll set up some basic CSS styling to set the margins, the, the height, the width, kind of the box that this thing is gonna be drawn in. You'll know it's a square box because you'll see the height and width are both 75 pixels. So it's, it's the same size both ways. Inside there, there's some scalar vector gra graphics in here, an SVG. You'll see that with the element type SVG. I know absolutely nothing about reading SVGs. I don't know if Tetsuya did or if he had something that, uh, that created that for him. I know there's some tools out there, but what this is actually gonna do is draw all the stuff on there. There's no actual images being used with the exception of uh, the heart uh, images and the checks that you saw, but the actual circle part itself, complete, uh, completely done with SVGs so that it will look great no matter how tall or short you want that circular indicator to be. You'll see that it's using a Microsoft font class here. That's so that it can tie into the site theme as well. Uh, as well. So depending on what site it's on, it will it will look like it's part of that site. And you could force, you could use any color you want in here, but it, it's, I think it's better if you make it look like it's part of SharePoint out of the box. Uh, and so that as the site theme changes over time, this will just all automatically look, uh, inherit that same look and feel. After this particular SVG, you'll see another one. Now, and you see two of them here because one is the outer circle. If we go back here, you'll see that there's a light gray circle and then the actual progress part is, is uh, illuminated by a darker circle on top of that. That's why you'll see uh, two different ones here. One is the background and one is that, that lighter gray. And in this case, the other is the darker gray. So both of them do the same thing. This one, you can see some references to the current field. So this is definitely the darker one that we're looking at right now to indicate the status because you see some calculations being done based on the value. After that, there's another div that, that's created to uh, so that we could center the percentage within that box. So we, we create another div, which is just a container, and we set it to 100% of the, of the height and width. So this will be kind of over top of the other one. We'll use the font color, another reference to the site fonts here. Uh, so we're referencing the theme's primary color. You'll see that under, under the attributes, into the class attribute. 
And then inside there, we're simply adding yet another div and we're putting the current fields display value. So if it's a 25% value, that's why that's how we get the actual 25% in there. You, you have tons of options if you wanted to change this, uh, maybe change the class here uh, to change what theme color you're using. Maybe it's another color out of that theme option that we have in the sites. But that's how this one works. If we go and look at the number donut chart, this one has a checkbox in here. So we have the exact same JSON here, except that now there's an additional option towards the bottom where you'll see the there's an icon name uh, of Skype circle check. Now this is part of the Fluent UI icons or the, uh, the Fluent framework icons. There's a really easy to use website to see what these icons are. So if you wanted to change this to something different, there's an easy interface on flicon.io that was created by Chris Kent, a legend in the JSON formatting community, as well as an MVP himself. He created this thing so that you could quickly find what icons you want to use and get that name so you could put right here in these formatters. So you could just simply swap this out for another name for an icon according to flicon.io, or you could go to the Fluent Framework website and get uh, information on the icons there as well. But this one section is really the only big difference between the la between this version of the formatter and the first one we covered. Now we get to the icon only. This one is the, the one that has the pop-out card here. That's the, the third one we've done. And this has some, uh, some the, the one special thing with this little call out here, this uh, custom pop-up. So if we go into this one, again, we'll see the same core elements here with those SVGs creating the circles. And then the real big difference, we'll still see the icon here like we saw on the last one. Although remember, remember this one doesn't have the percentage, so we don't have anything below this particular element. But what we do have is on that div where our percentage would live or the icon would live, the one that was 100%, you'll see here on the height and width, the one that kind of sits over top of the other one, you'll see custom card props. Now this is a special part of JSON formatting to allow a custom pop-up to appear, whether you click on something or whether you hover over something. In this case, we'll see that the open on event is hover. So this appears just by putting the mouse cursor over uh, in this case, over that whole area where our formatter is. You'll see some options for a directional hint, kind of the little beak part as they call it, which is on that left edge of the white box on the screen, that little triangle. You'll see that that's been set up here. And then the only real other thing here is inside that little custom card, we create a div and then we set it to the current fields display value. So the percentage, that's how we got the percentage on there. You could add additional information on there as well though. You could even pull the title field from that particular list item and display it in there. So with JSON formatting, you could actually still reference other fields um, even though you're only uh, formatting a particular column. So you've got a lot of options there to work with. And again, uh, we also see inside not inside the custom card itself, but we see on the main part of that formatter, we'll have that heart fill. And again, this is just another icon from the Fluid Framework. You could use Chris Kent's site, you could use the Fluid Framework site uh, to, to find out what what other names of icons that you get to use. You don't have to worry about downloading the image or anything. You just simply use the name of that icon and it automatically renders on the screen. Very, very simple stuff. So what do you think of this? Let me know down in the comments below. I think it's a really great solution and an awesome level up for any sort of a percentage column in SharePoint. There's so many amazing solutions just like this and they're really, really easy to create. If you're ready to learn this for yourself, check out the description below for the link to my JSON formatting course. Otherwise, why not check out some more cool samples that I've showcased on my playlist just like this one by clicking or tapping the screen now.